Welcome, in this video I will learn you everything about game integrations. Let's start. Scroll down and select the Fortnite module. Make sure the module is enabled, you can do this by clicking on Enable. Click on Save Changes after enabling the module. You can change the trigger, cooldown, permission, and other important options by clicking on the slash Fortnite command. I will keep everything the same for this video. If you changed anything to this command, click on Save Changes in the blue box, and click on Save Changes in the white box. I will now show you in Discord how the command works. Use the slash Fortnite command and type a username, I will use Ninja for this video. We also need to select a platform, you can choose between, PC, PlayStation Network, or Xbox. We are selecting PC for this video. Press enter and the results will show up. This was everything about the Fortnite module. I will now show you how the Apex Legends module is working. Scroll down on the dashboard and select the Apex Legends module. Make sure the module is enabled, you can do this by click on enable. Click on save changes after enabling the module. You can change the trigger, cooldown, permissions and other important options by clicking on the slash Apex command. I will keep everything the same for this video. If you changed anything to this command, click on Save Changes in the blue box, and click on Save Changes in the white box. I will now show you in Discord how the command works. Use the slash Apex command and type a username, I will use Ninja for this video. We also need to select a platform, you can choose between, PC, PlayStation Network, or Xbox. We are selecting PC for this video. Press Enter and the result will show up. This was everything about the game integrations. I hope this answered all your questions, if not please check out our documentation, or join our Discord support server. You can find the link for those in the video description.